So today we have one goal in mind, and that is winning the World Series as the Marlins. We're in 2022 right now, but we have made such a great team that we we literally could make a run now, like legit. We got a phenomenal young first baseman, Angel Parra. He's been killing it throughout the couple years that he's been in the league. We got Brian Anderson. We signed him to a multi-year deal. He's always going to be good for us. Last episode, we signed Mookie Betts. Yeah, the Mookie Betts, like the... AL MVP Mookie Betts, yeah, that guy. We also signed Javier Baez, which was huge for us as well. We also got Yomer Sanchez, who's actually pretty good. I was not expecting this going to be a year from him, but we got it. Last episode, we also got Yohan Cespedes just for a year. We're going to be getting rid of him today. It's not. It's really not going to be a big deal. We also got Jorge Alfaro. Not that bad, but definitely he needs to improve a little bit on the average. And then Victor Victor Mesa, of course. He's got to get better. He's got to just get a little bit better. But also last episode, we traded for Trevor Williams, who is absolutely killer. The last three years of his career have been by far one of the best I've seen. He's literally been in Scion contention for like the past three years of his career. So he's just been an absolute beast. We got him for very, very cheap. So I'm happy about that. You guys already know we got Madison Bumgarner. If you guys watched the first episode, absolute beast. Sixto Sanchez killing it. Pablo Lopez absolutely killing it. And then Sandy not doing too bad. So as you guys can see, Jose Alvarado, Brad Hand. We got a very good team, all right? I don't have to keep saying that. We got a very good team. But now we're in the off season of 2022, so we got to do something big, and I'm thinking it's going to be a lot of bullpen help because, as you guys can see, we have a decent bullpen, but we're also outweighed by the fact that we got people like Tehran Guerrero, Jordan, Carson Smith isn't that bad, but then like Adam Connolly. So I want to make sure that all these guys are top notch. And then not to mention after that, we need a left fielder because Yohan Cespedes is going to be leaving us. It's, we gotta do some stuff this off season. So let's buckle down and let's do it because we gotta do something big. I'm trying to win a World Series for Miami in the last, what? 15 years? When was the last time they won a World Series? So we gotta do something big for the fans. Oh, Choo Choo. I completely forgot about that. Last episode, we ended up drafting a guy named Choo Choo. The best prospect name I've ever seen. So we gotta sign him back. He hopefully will be in the MLB at some point in the next year. All right, real quick. What's our budget looking like? We got a bunch of money going out, but I will say this, we might, and I say might, have a way to sign one more really, really good guy. Like there might be enough wiggle room in the budget to sign one more really, really good guy. So that's what we're going to have to do. I don't know what we're going to do with that, but we'll see. Because I mean, I need an outfielder again. I'm going to need somebody to take you on a Cespedes' spot and I need a lot of bullpen help. So we got to do something big here. So let's take a look at the free agents. Let's see what's going on. Oh my God. Aaron, Aaron, what, what? He's gonna be above 30, but come on. Yeah, he's $30 million. We also got Mitch Handiger. Okay, how much is Mitch? 18, that is his year that he put in, huh? Mitch, yo, all I'm saying is, could possibly be it, bro, could possibly be it. Mo Conforto again could possibly be it, he's $14 million, like, I like this, I actually like this a lot, so. Looking at those guys, what about the relief pitchers? All right, we got Rosella Iglesias. Has been doing that bad. Craig Kimbrell, not going to sign him. Jose. All right, so this is what I've come to with my brain box. So we're going to sign Sam. We're going to get him for hopefully around $12 million for the next three years. We're also going to go with Carl Edwards Jr. for about the next three years. So we're going to have a stacked up bullpen for the next, like, three years, roughly. You know? Now, what we're going to do. We, it hurts spending this much money, but... We gotta do it. Um, Hanniger is just so good. Like his his hitting and his fielding is just so good. His durability is amazing. But Michael Conforto though, that's the thing. But Michael freaking Conforto, he's five million less. He's younger. He has the ability to pop off, and he's a lefty. How's our lefty situation? Not good. I think we go with Michael Conforto. See, I would have been fine going with Mitch Hanniger, but literally the fact that we got like seven or eight righties on our team makes me a little worried. So. We're going with Michael Conforto. That just seems about right. Next five years, give him a club option, or give him both, actually, and then up the contract just a little bit. Give him that. Perfect. Give him a backloaded contract just in case we want to trade him. We can. But the problem is we are giving him the same contract that the Mets are. I think we, I, I think we raise it by, like, one million. You think? Let's just raise the Mets by, like, a mil. Just make him angry. There we go. Backloaded contract. Perfect. Okay. We should be able to secure the bag with that one. We should be able to secure him. Now... Anything else? No, we're pretty good. 
We're actually doing pretty good with that. Okay, I would love to get Jose because he's such a beast, but we just can't swing it. All right, seems about good. Let's see what happens. We reached our max. Okay, we reached our maximum roster size. We got Conforto though. We didn't get Chad Green, even though we didn't offer him a contract. We got Conforto though. That is really, really good. Now we have to designate a few people because I am trying to get a couple other guys in here. I'm going to be honest. Jordan, I'm sorry, you're gone. Adam, I'm sorry, but you're gone as well, bro. And then who else? Cespedes, we're not going to sign him back, so let's just go ahead and designate him. Perfect. Now, we got to get these two guys. God dang it, we lost that on Carl Edwards. Oh, come on. Just because of, that's so stupid. Just because we put people on waivers and we released a couple people, we have to wait a little bit, and that, in the end, just kind of screwed us over. So, we got to get a couple new guys in here. We're still going to be going with Sam, because I still think Sam's going to be really, really good. We'll still go with him. But now, the issue is, who else do I go with? How's Andrew? He's not bad, but... He's a little risky. What about everybody else? What, what about anyone else? How about that? Ross. Oh, oh my God, Ross. With Cleveland got a... Okay, yeah, huh? Okay. What's up, dog? Welcome to Miami, okay? All right, so now with all the new signings, this is what the team is looking like. We got Angel Parra again. The switch hitter, gonna be doing amazing up. Up at the top of the lineup, he's gonna be doing amazing. Brian Anderson, again, always gonna be good. Mookie Betts, I'm hoping for a bounce back year from him. He did not do good. And I'm surprised at that because literally Mookie Betts, he's our biggest guy here. So if he cannot do good, I don't know what the heck we're going to do. Javier Baez, I think he's going to do very well. Yomer, again, had a fantastic first year with the Marlins. I'm hoping he can repeat that. We got Michael Conforto now coming in here. That fantastic lefty bat's going to do wonders. We got Jorge Alfaro, again, going to be good. I'm hoping Victor Mesa as well can have a uh, little bit of a bounce back year. So let's hope for that. Let's get into this new season and let's see what happens. Yo, one team I'm a little worried about, though, is the Indians. They signed so many people this offseason. Let's take a look. Let's go over to Cleveland. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, please help me, somebody. Oh my god. They got two. Not just one, but two. New free agents. New free agent pitchers. They got Jameson. And they also got Jose Barrios. Not to mention they got Trevor Bauer. They also... This is gr Okay, the Indians got way too much money. They signed Mitch Hanniger. Do you see the... Okay. What's their line... I I'm gonna be so angry, but what's their lineup? I don't want... I I'm, I'm quitting. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm quitting. You got Bradley Zimmer. You got Bobby Bradley, you got Francisco Lindor, Mitch Hanniger, and that's not it. He's still not satisfied. You got Kyle Lewis, you got Jake Bowers, you got Patrick Wisdom, which is an amazing name. The second baseman and the catcher I really don't know about, but still, bro. Then not to mention... The rotation. Bruh, chill. That's by far gonna be the best rotation in the MLB. Jameson, Jose Barrios, Shane Bieber, Trevor Bauer, Carlos Carrasco, what the... Those all are just complete heaters of people, bro. All right, well, now that they're beefing up everything, I'm kind of getting a little bit worried. So I need another lefty in here. Jose Quintana might be it. Okay, how much could we offer him? 3.8? 3, 3. Heck yes, bro. Welcome to the squad. The Indians are literally not done. Real quick, if you guys can, look at November 24th on the, uh, on the top offseason transactions. If you see a man named Alex Bregman that signed an eight-year deal for $248 million. And you see that C right there? That's not the Cubs. That's not Cincinnati. You already know that for a fact. That's the freaking Cleveland Indians. You disgusting human beings. Are you kidding me? So instead of Patrick, they're gonna be subbing out Alex freaking Bregman for him. What is their budget looking like? I have to know. Our budget's a little rough because we got three decent guys. By decent, I mean like literally top in their field in the MLB, but still. What I'm saying is like the contracts are decent. But the Indians though, they must have like a $200 million budget. Just like a player payroll. I'm so over it. I'm so, if that was the Indians, I would have been so... I don't know what to do anymore. I literally don't know what to do. A lot's happened this offseason. And I don't like it. Like, I, I kind of like what we did, but the rest, heck no, dude. If anything, we might come in later, maybe sign a good bench bat, but then again, our bench is good. Our pitch rotation's actually looking top-notch now that we have another lefty in there. We got Trevor Williams, Mad Bum, Sixto Sanchez, Pablo Lopez, and then Jose Quintana. Pretty much perfect. It's not going to be Indians perfect, but it's going to be decent. The bullpen's actually looking really nice as well. The, the offense looks good. 
So we got a very, very good team. It's just the Indians, bro. Why are they signing all these people? They got the Federal Reserve just print money in their GM's office. All right, so now that spring training, you guys know what that means. We got contract extensions that we got to look into. So right now, Brad Hand, all right? Brad Hand, he's killed it for us. And I want to keep him on for maybe the next two years as well. I'm going to keep our bullpen on like a very good two-year type of thing. So like switch everybody out over two years possibly. For him, we're going to have to offer him like at least $22 million. He's killed it for us. So I want to make sure that we keep him. We are going to be doing a backload of contract just in case he has like literally one of the worst years of his career. We can dump him off to like the Yankees or something. So I'm hoping that that could possibly happen. We signed him. Good. Same thing with Mad Bum. Okay. When these guys get a little bit older, it gets a little sketchy with them will be the show at least. So we're going to offer him two years, $23 million, a backloaded contract with a club option. Let's see if he takes it. Okay. What about both? Perfect. Okay. That works. And that's really about it. That's the only guys I really want to sign. We got Pablo that we're going to be signing later in the, uh, in the season. So that's pretty much good for now. Let's go ahead and get back into spring training. Let's see how we do. But as you guys can see real quick before we start spring training, we have successfully rebuilt this team. I'm sorry, but we've, we've successfully rebuilt this team. We are third ranked overall in the MLB. In four years, we've gone from 30th to third. That's nuts. I mean, did we spend a bunch of money? Yeah, bro. We spent literally like $120 million. But that's what you got to do if you want to be third in the MLB. So I'm happy about the purchases. We did good. Let's see if that translates into the year. But real quick before we start the actual regular season, if you guys can't, be sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you guys are new. I hope you guys have been enjoying this rebuild so far. It's been super fun. The Marlins, we killed it with this team, so I cannot wait to make a postseason run. Hopefully we can do that this episode. Here we go. Let's do it. Starting off the year, 8 and 2, 10 and 3. It's moving too fast for us to keep going, but still, look how good we've done this opening month. Oh my God. 21 and 8, 23. I'm just not even going to try and keep up with it, but look how good we've been doing. Jesus, that's what I've been waiting for for the last four freaking ep or three episodes before years. I'm all over the place right now, but I'm happy. I'm freaking happy. A hundred and something million dollars later, though. All right, so we've kind of run into an issue. I, I was celebrating, but I think I celebrated a little too soon. We're losing a lot of money, so... We're going to have to get rid of Jose. I know he's done good for us. I love Jose, but to be honest, he's taking up $3.2 in AAA. Bro, no. Not so much. We got Peter O'Brien down in AA. Taking up again, $2.2 million. Yeah, that's not going to cut it. We're going to try and do a package deal. Jose, sorry, bro, but you're getting out of here. Screw it. Ken Wong can come too. And then, who else over here? Peter O'Brien, perfect. There we go, for prospects. Let's see what happens. $6.7 million, oh baby, there it is. Oh, the, oh. I don't even wanna to talk to the Indians right now. I'm so disgusted with how, how they just did so good. I'm disgusted. I think I'm gonna go with this one. We got Xavier Edwards, who is a top 50 prospect right now. And we also got Ruiz, who's a top 50 prospect right now. But that's 2019. 2023, they probably should be in the MLB by now, but whatever, bro. We'll go with them. We save a bunch of money. Who cares? But now we've rebounded the cash flow to literally $0 per week. Let's get those merch sales up. How about that? Let's get some of that, uh, get some of those merch sales up. Run a couple sales, you know, get people in the games. Let's see what happens. All right, it's been another week. How's our, how's our cash doing? There we go. Six grand a week. That's what we're making, six grand a week. Nice. All right, so right now in the All-Star Weekend, we are 62 and 30. 30 games above 500. I never thought I'd say that with the Marlins, at least for the next couple years, but here we are right now, dude. We've gone up with our budget a little bit. We're making 9,000 now, which is better than last month, 6,000, so we're going up a little bit. Oh my God, just seeing this is so, so horrible. How's everybody on the team doing? Mookie Betts killing it right now. Let's go, Mookie. Brian Anderson. Oh my God. I'm so glad we saved him. I'm so glad we saved him. This is what I envisioned right there. That's what I envisioned. When I said Brian Anderson's the future in the first episode, that's what I'm talking about. 94 overall, Brian Anderson. Let's go. Mo Conforto, 22 home runs, two, almost a 300 average. Let's go. Angel Parra. Fantastic. Javier Baez killing it. Yomer. Oh my God. Got to get that average up, but still not doing too bad. Oh boy. Jorge, hopefully you do a little bit better, bro. I'm going to have to sub you out for Will. Actually, let's just do that. Sub out for Will right now. Mesa killing it right now. Perfect, guys. Perfect. 
Also, if you guys are wondering why we got Eric Thames, he didn't have a team, so I was like, you know what, bro? You're a home run hitting machine. You got the biceps of a Greek god. Let's just go ahead and sign you up. What could go wrong? So we did, and he's doing pretty good, so win-win. Who do the Tigers think they are, bro? Boyd Salter, I get he might be good, but for Choo Choo, oh, the disrespect. Heck no, get out of here. You can't disrespect Choo Choo like that, bro. You ever heard a name like Choo Choo in the MLB? Heck no. Also, Choo Choo's gonna be making an appearance sometime in the next month. We're calling him up for September call-ups, for sure. All right, so it's about time for September call-ups. Let's go ahead and get Choo Choo all the way up here. Let's go. Where he at? There he is, Choo Choo. He actually killed it in double A. I get like double A is pretty easy for this, but he's just straight up skipping triple A. We're going straight to the MLB with Choo Choo. Also, real quick, let's just take a look at how good this is. We're by far making the postseason this year. The Mets are 12 games back, the Phillies 26, the Nationals 28, and the Braves 30. What a flip the NL East has done. Pretty much the only teams I got to compete with is going to be the Yankees. They're 91 and 46. Pretty, pretty much about the same that we are. The White Sox are 89 and 48. But real quick, can I just reminisce? The Indians spent so much money. I get that they're going to make it into the postseason. I get it. But 77 and 61 with literally like a $200 million payroll. Get out of here, bro. Get out of here. Oh my God. We took this entire year by storm. The Marlins in 2023 finish off the year 103 and 59. This is what I was envisioning since day one. Let's go, baby. Everything's finally happening. Take a look how everybody did in the regular season. Mookie Betts finally killed it again this year. Brian Anderson. Oh my God. Conforto, NL MVP type season. Para, again, just another perfect quality year. That's all I ask for. Javier, 100 RBIs, 26 bombs. You can't ask for better. Yolmer, completely turned it around. Jorge, turned it around again, but again, would have wanted a little bit better of an average, but again, he's a catcher. I don't care. Victor, God, what is up, boys? What is up? Rotation. We got Sixto leading the squad. Look at that stat. 200 strikeouts for Sixto. What a freaking beast. Trevor, killed it. Pablo, oh my God. Madison, oh Jesus. Ross, everything has happened. Everything has happened and it's been happening in perfect fashion. Let's go. Bullpen completely was lights out this year. Oh, Jesus. The Mets. All right, six though. We got Zach Wheeler. Beat him. Oh my God, we didn't beat him. Okay, Julio. We won against Julio. Okay, Pablo versus DeGrom. God, I knew DeGrom would be so good. All right, we got we to gotta quick manage these two. God dang it, DeGrom. Why you got to do this? See, the problem is the Mets are just so good pitching-wise. Like, it's going to be hard to beat them. So, we got to bring our A game today. Anderson, you got to do something good here. God dang it. Conforto, please. You're in your home park. I get your face in the lefty, but come on. There it is, Conforto. Let's go, baby. Okay, Para struck out. God dang it. Baez, single. Let's go. Jorge, struck out again. Got it. All right, out of there. Yolmer, single. Victor. Double play. God dang it, Victor. Single from Mookie. Let's go. Anderson still grinding out. Conforto flying out. That's pretty much about it for there. Wow, they came back. But Jorge coming in with the solo bomb. Let's go. A triple from Yolmer. A walk from Victor. Let's go. See, the problem is now, we already got Mad Bum. He already let up three runs. I think we pinch hit for him. And the person I think we bring in is going to be Tristan Pompey. Let's go. Sack fly. Let's go, baby. That's that's all I was looking for, to be honest. A triple from Mookie Betts, though, bringing in some more runs. Let's get it, baby. All right, who's taking over? Let's flip it to... Let's flip it to Ross real quick. Oh, is, yeah, let's flip it to Ross. All right, Ross, take it away. Okay, um... Yeah, never mind. Austin, take it away. Perfect. Dang it, bro. Come on. You can't be doing that to me. All right, sixth inning. Conforto, we need something big here. Another walk, that's fine. Para, we need something huge. A walk again, that's fine. Javier, we need something bigger. Fielder's choice, whatever. Jorge, come on. Pop out, god dang it. Yolmer. Jesus, guys, what's going on? Okay, Austin, get out of here. Base is loaded now. Alvarado, pop out, perfect. Donaldson, he's good against lefties, but screw it. Walk, god dang it. They took the lead. Victor, come on. Single. All right, we got a pinch hit. Ooh, with the righty in there. I think we go with Eric. Come on, Eric. God dang it, pop out. Mookie. Two run bomb, let's go. That's why I'm paying him the big bucks. All right, we got two people on again. Javi, come on. Jesus, okay, bottom of the eighth now. Who do we flip it to? Who are we gonna flip it to? Carson Smith, nah. Drew, maybe? No, I think we go with Sam. Come on, Sam, don't mess me up here. Double from Jock. Ground out, fly out. Single, no. Okay, 
Whatever. Tied ball game again. Jorge, come on. Struck out. Yomer, please strike out. Victor, walk. Sam, I'm sorry, but you're out of here. We got to go with... Got it. We God, we got to go with Will. Jesus, come on, guys. Red hand now, coming in. Another walk. Now, now we got Ryan up here. <sighs> oh my God. Okay, Mookie, please. Ground out. God dang it. Brian, come up big today, please. Double perfect. You redeemed yourself, but the rest of the team can't. All right, we still got out of it. Javi, there we go, Javi. Perfect. Now, Brad, come on. Pop out. Naquin, strike out. Donaldson. Perfect, baby. Oh my God. That was one of the hard, I had to use my brain so much in that game. I hate using my brain if you guys can't tell. Why was that so hard? Jesus, they kept fighting back. Let's put them in the grave today at home. Come on, please. We got Trevor coming up for us. Let's do it, come on. Single, double play, perfect, got out of it. Mookie, double. Anderson, fly out. Double from Conforto though, we're bringing in the run. Angel, he's done horrible, I don't know what to say. Angel's done horrible, but wow, they actually did pretty good with one out. All right, get out of it, please. Perfect. Yomer, solo bomb. Let's go. Jorge, ground out. God dang it. Victor, strike out. God dang it. Trevor, strike out. Wow. Get me out of this. Come on, Trevor. Get me out of it. Perfect. Mookie, god dang it. Brian, please. Single. Perfect. Michael, strike out. Angel, do something. Double. Perfect. Oh my god. All right. Three to one right now. Okay. Nope, 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 no, nope, no, nope, 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 nope. Drew. Double play. Perfect. That's what we needed. Let's go. Drew got us out of the inning. All right, Victor. We're still gonna let Drew hit. God dang it. I hate doing that, but we got to. Mookie coming up with the double. Anderson with the strikeout. God dang it. I keep saying god dang it, but still, that's all that's the only reaction I have, literally. Javi. Jorge. Let's go. Victor. Walk. Drew, I'm sorry. Righty in there. I think we go with Eric. Come on, Eric. Come on, Eric. Oh, hit the ball, bro. Hit the stupid ball. All right, Carson. What are you going to do? There we go. Got us out. Mookie, come on. That didn't really work out, but we're, we're in there. Perfect. Another run scored. Bases are loaded right now for Yomer. A fly out. Jorge, hit the stupid ball this time. Double. Oh, my God, Jorge. Let's go. A triple from Victor. Oh my god. Now, top of the ninth. We're sending in nothing but Alvarado. Let's go. Never mind. Well, actually, you know what? Screw it. Just let him go. They ended up scoring a run, but who cares? We got the save. Whatever. Or it wasn't even a save. It was a complete blowout. But still, we're moving on. The Giants now. Two games at home. Come on. Two losses. Okay. On the road. Another loss. We really got to fight back for four games. Are you serious right now? <sighs> All right, let's go. Let's get the brain juices flowing. God dang it, please. For my suffering, leave a like. Oh my God. Let's go, boys. One run early for my Conforto. Keep it going. Yomer, come on, walk. Okay, Jorge, hit the stupid ball, bro. All right, Victor, Madison. Oh, there we go, sack bunt. Mookie, ground out. Brian, walk. Conforto, strike out. God dang it, okay. If Angel can't hit the ball, I'm taking him out. I'm sorry, but he cannot hit the stupid ball. Jorge, I'm taking out for Will, honestly. Base is loaded for a guy named Kenny Gibbons. That's a little, that, that kind of scares me a little bit. Let's go ahead and attack him with, let's go with, uh, let's go with Drew. There we go, strikeout. Now get Joey. Perfect, let's go, baby. All right, bullpen's coming in clutch. Bullpen's coming in so clutch. Mookie, strikeout. Brian, ground out. Conforto, line out. Jesus Christ. Guys, what is happening? Angel, get out of there, bro. I'm sorry, but you cannot hit right now. Eric, get in there. Fly out. Javi, single. Yolmer, walk. Will, double play. Oh, my God. Two runs scored now. Okay, get out of there. Perfect. Now we got to battle back. Now we really got to battle back. To okay, two runs already up. Jose, get out of here. Let's go. Perfect. Double play. Brian, you gotta come up clutch here. We gotta come up clutch. Conforto, please. Single, all right. Thames, strike out, okay. Javi, line out. Yolmer, all right. Will, come up clutch, please. Double, perfect. Victor, walk. Get out of here, okay. Tristan, do we bring in Tristan? That's the thing. Against a lefty, yes we do. All right, Tristan, hit by pitch. Mookie, strike out. Two outs right now for Brian Anderson. Oh, God. It's like a dagger went through my heart. 
Right there. Are you kidding me? We just couldn't come up clutch? They better win. The Giants won. Perfect. All right. Well, we didn't get the World Series win, but we did successfully rebuild the team. We got 103 games won. We rebuilt the team. I'm sorry, but we did. Now, I'm pretty sure we go to the 29th team. Go ahead and tell me in the comments what team you guys want to see me rebuild next. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, be sure to leave a like on it. Subscribe if you guys are new. Also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Both links are down in the description. Would really help me out. And if you guys are new here, I got a playlist for all the stuff on my channel. Go ahead and click that. If you guys like Diamond Dynasty, click that. Road to the Show, click it. All that kind of stuff. So if you guys want to support me, that would be the best way to do it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.